Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy. Today Tricky is preparing the most adorable coconut milk snail buns. The coconut flavor is not overpowering, rather it has a subtle hint that imparts sweetness to the bread. It tastes so good when eaten warm straight out of the oven and is slightly crusty on the outside and super soft and fluffy on the inside. So let's get straight to the ingredients. If you want a stronger coconut flavor, you can replace the vanilla extract with coconut extract. The method. Add in all the listed ingredients to the mixing bowl of a stand mixer. That's the water and milk, which is at room temperature, egg, vanilla extract, caster sugar, yeast, softened butter, coconut milk powder, white bread flour, desiccated coconut and salt. Please note that in this recipe we are using coconut milk powder and water but you could use coconut milk available from the tin. Then mix to combine until it forms a soft and sticky dough. Knead with the dough hook for about 8 to 10 minutes. Add in the remaining milk as required. Alternatively, you can knead by hand for 10 to 12 minutes. When the kneading is done, check that the dough passes the window pane test. That is, the dough should be able to stretch into a thin membrane without tearing. Then grease with oil. So we are now ready for the first proofing. So cover and set aside in a warm place until it doubles in size. This will take approximately one hour. You can place the dough in a warm oven with the light left on. Just make sure the oven is switched off. When the first proofing is done and the dough has doubled in size, tip it onto a flat surface. Handle gently and weigh the dough. We can see it's about 921 grams in weight. Having weighed the dough in the previous step, divide the dough into 12 equal portions by weight, that is 76 grams each portion. Then gently roll the individual portions to shape into round dough balls. Cover and let it rest for 5 to 10 minutes. After the dough has rested, take a dough ball and roll it into a long sausage 14 inches long. Wind it into a tight spiral so it looks like a snail and shape the snail antenna. Similarly, roll the remaining dough balls into snail shapes with their antennas. And arrange them on a baking tray lined with grease proof or parchment paper. We are now ready for the second proofing, so set aside in the warm place to rise until it doubles in size. This will take approximately one hour. As before, you can place the dough in a warm oven with the light left on. Just make sure the oven is switched off. While that is happening and you are ready to bake, preheat the oven to the temperature shown. So after the second proofing and the snail buns have doubled in size, brush the tops with egg wash. You can prepare the egg wash by whisking one egg and one tablespoon of water together. Also sprinkle some demerara brown sugar over the tops. Then bake in the preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until done. The buns are done when it has a nice golden color and sounds hollow when tapped on the top. Halfway through the baking process, rotate the tray by 180 degrees for even baking. Then remove the tray from the oven when done and brush the tops of the snail buns with melted butter.
Set aside on a wire rack to cool completely. And there you have it, the most adorable coconut milk snail buns. They taste so good when eaten warm, straight out of the oven. Slightly crusty on the outside and super soft and fluffy on the inside. So thank you for stopping by. Do hope you will give this recipe a try. Have lots of fun in the process as you toy and most of all don't forget to enjoy. Tricky's Kitchen has lots of other bread recipes that you would like to try out. So be sure to click on the video link on your screen right now and watch another video.